this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on redemption of debentures. I wish to solve one sum here before you. On redemption of debentures, observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum which I wish to solve here before you. The following balances appeared in the books of company as on 1st of April 2016. 12% debentures 8 lakh, debentures sinking fund 6 lakhs, debentures sinking fund investment 6 lakhs, represented by 10% government bond secured, uh, rupees 7 lakh 20 thousand. Annual contribution 1 lakh 28 thousand to sinking fund is to be made on 31st of March every year. These are the balances on 1st of April 2016. On 31st of April 2017, one year has passed. So, 128,000 is to be transferred from profit and loss appropriation account to sinking fund account. The balance at the bank 4 lakhs after receiving the interest. Company sold the investment at 80%, debentures were redeemed. You are required to prepare 12% debentures account, debenture sinking fund account, and debenture sinking fund investment account and the bank account. So these are the four accounts that we are required to prepare. Now, how many transactions we are how we how are we going to solve this sum? First of all, I will open four accounts as required: debenture account, sinking fund account, debenture sinking fund investment account, and bank account. Four accounts are to be opened. I am going to write down the balances given to me on this in, in all these four accounts. After that, I will start with recording transaction. First transaction, annual transfer to sinking fund. Second transaction, interest received on sinking fund investment at the end of the year. So these are the two transactions basically. Third transaction, investments are sold. Profit or loss on sale of investment is transferred to sinking fund. Then debenture are paid. Debentures are redeemed. So debenture balance is transferred to debenture holders account and debenture holders will be paid. Balance of sinking fund will be transferred to general reserve after redemption of debentures. So this is how this sum is going to be solved. Let me start. This is the details of the sum. Debenture account, debenture sinking fund account, debenture sinking fund investment account and bank account. First of all, I will write down the opening balances. Balance brought down, debenture account, liability credit balance, sinking fund, profit accumulated to redeem the debenture, 6 tax, credit balance, sinking fund investment, 6 tax, debit balance. This is how balances are carried for. Over and above, next transaction, annual contribution is 128000 to sinking fund. The journal entry for that is profit and loss appropriation account, debit to sinking fund account credit. This is the yearly transfer to sinking fund. So 6 lakhs were there, 1 lakh 28,000 is transferred. On 31st of March, the balance in bank account is 4 lakh after receipt of interest. So opening bank balance is given to you 4 lakhs after receipt of interest. On this sinking fund investment, the interest is received. The interest is already recorded in bank account. Generally, the journal entry for the Interest received on sinking fund investment, the journal entries, bank account debit to sinking fund account credit. But the bank balance is already includes the interest received. So only sinking fund account will be credited with the interest. So how much is the interest? Let us calculate. 720,000 into 10%, 72,000. Bank account debit to sinking fund account credit. Bank account is already debited with this interest. So 72,000 will be credited to sinking fund account. So this is how sinking fund account is to be credited because 4 lakhs is the bank balance given to me after recording interest on investment. So this 4 lakhs includes this 72,000. So no need to debit them once again. Now, company sold the investment at 80%. So 720,000 into 80% is the proceeds of investment. Bank account debit to sinking fund investment account credit. So bank account is debited for that. And sinking fund investment account is to be credited for that. So 576000 is the price at which these investments are sold. The book value purchase price is 6 lakhs. 6 lakhs is the purchase price. 576000 is the sales proceeds. Difference between the two is identified as loss. That loss will be transferred to debenture sinking fund account. So 6 lakhs minus 5 lakhs 74,000. This loss is transferred to sinking fund account. 
So whatever the gains, interest received against the sinking fund investment, they are transferred to they are transferred to the credit side of sinking fund account. Same way, if any loss occurs on sale of investment, that loss is also required to be debited to sinking fund account. Now, the balance of sinking fund is transferred to general reserve. This is the balance seven lakh sixty thousand that is transferred to general reserve. Now you have to proceed with redemption of debentures. For that debentures account debit to debenture holders account credit. So and debenture holders account debit to bank account credit. This is the general entity that is recorded for the purpose of redemption of debentures. So debenture account is debited to debenture holders eight lakhs, and the payment made from bank debenture holders account debit to bank account credit eight lakhs. This is how debentures liability gets redeemed. It's the debenture account gets closed because redemption has taken place, and the closing bank balance that will be trans that will be carried forward one lakh seventy six thousand is the bank balance. This is how these four accounts that I have prepared for redemption of debentures. I have tried to explain you this concept. I feel that you have followed all these things thanks to all of you.